Okay. So the main part where the program is, is in all programs, oh, wrong one, all programs, web design, Adobe Dreamweaver CC 2014. It sometimes takes a little bit of time to sort of get started, just because there are a few sort of things to run. Okay, the first time it might, might come up and basically sort of say, have you used it before? Probably want to click, nope, I'm new, and it will give you a few sort of tutorial bits. I'm just going to say, yep, I've used it. it. Runs through a few little helps. Options. And obviously a few more little tutorial, video tutorials to basically help and go through a few things. Now. When we sort of start up the page, we've got you know, the different sort of the styles of pages we want. Our main sort of ones will be HTML. But our absolute first thing we want to do is a website is basically like a big bucket of web pages. And if we don't get it set up properly right at the start, everything can sort of break quite easily. So we're going to, on the right hand side, click on the little files tab. If it's not there, you can go window files. Manage sites, and I want to make a new site to start with. And we're going to give this a name. And choose a location of where it's going to be saved. So I'm going to save it in my year 10 VTEC. Just give that a name. Save it. Done. This just means every time I like add pictures, videos, everything like that, it'll copy it into the right folder so everything will work. Then I'm going to make a new HTML page. HTML being our basic sort of web design page. Um, we've got our main sort of layout. Page properties where I can choose the default fonts. For the writing, I can change my background colors. Save. Quite sort of garish, but obviously want to think about more sensible colours. In terms of our main layout, we're going to keep it simple to start with. We're going to just insert a table, and we'll just start with leaving it three rows by three. We we'll change the width, leave it as pixels. So, you have to do this. Yes. I know that at this point, which is why I'm still going through this sort of step. Is that 23, Yep. We've got our basic page. So I'm going to highlight and join the, the row at the top. On a web page, what normally goes in at the top? Oh, the, the link. Oh, well, link. 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 Yeah, well, other than that, normally there's like a banner at the top. A banner, like a, like a title. Oh, right. So I have a title here. Underneath that, you might have like some links to different pages, and then you know the main writing. So if I highlight things, I can click on the merge to join them. If I want to split them into more, I can do that as well to add extra columns. And as far as it goes, a basic writing. Welcome to my web page. Now, in terms of images, it is a little bit different. In order to make sure that it always works, someone will give me something that I can put on top of it. Find a picture for. And it, let's just say football, we'll go with that. Now, I've got the full quality image. What I want to do is save the image into my folder. So it's documents, year 10. So make sure it's saved in this folder. Now if I refresh this, you can see I've now got the football on there. I'm going to just drag it in. 
add the picture, obviously I can resize it if I need to. Yep. Save that. Always call the first page you, you create index. It's just a standard convention. Obviously then you might want to go into no Photoshop, something like that, to design your banner. And if I press the F12 key on the keyboard, I get a preview of my page and sort of what it looks like. Obviously very simple at this stage. But what we've got, a basic sort of layout. So the first things I want to see, create a table, put in an image, bit of writing, and then you can have a go at designing a banner to add in. Yeah. 